welcome to Java I Jaisam and in this video we can discuss about some coding interview questions which is very very important for the Java developer. So if you have a five year experience or maybe you are a fresher, people will ask these questions definitely to you. So I am going to explain about uh, UI company. So recently one of my friends given the interview in EY company and he got selected also okay so what are the questions they ask i will i am going to explain you also and i will tell you like uh, what are the things he have done the mistakes and what are the things he have given the correct way and he got selected okay <clears throat> so the ey company interviewer started the interview with the thread concept okay so he has started with the threads and he asked like what is the executor framework how we can create a thread what are the way we have how executor th uh, framework will help us to create a multiple threads and do the operation how it's give the benefit all those things they ask he given the answer properly and then after finally <clears throat> they move to the java features and in the java features they ask like okay uh, let's talk about lambda expressions how it's giving the benefits let's talk about functional interface what is the benefit of it okay like that question they ask it and then after finally they have given on coding questions <clears throat> so coding question is also very interesting they ask us to do the coding questions in java 8 features okay using the java 8 features only you don't want to use any extra space or any other things any other loop just do with the java 8 features so he has started thinking about it okay how we can do it okay so let's do also so we can also start doing and we can see the what is the mistakes we are doing okay so let's start doing so what he think okay let's go with the integers okay so he created one main methods okay after main method he created uh, two array array one as usual and he kept some value like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and then after he created one more array okay array 2 and then after he assigned some value like uh, 6 7 8 9 and finally he tried to merge it with the java 8 features okay so what he have done is like uh, <clears throat> he have done like uh, he have created one uh, he has just written like okay a stream we can take and a stream having a one method called concatenate so through the concatenate he will do it so he taken the stream concatenate and here the main thing is like we have to convert our array into the streams that is the main important things so for example so if you want to convert any array into the streams we can take the help help of the arrays class arrays dot streams and in that you can pass your array one and in the same way you can pass here also it is dot streams of array 2 done so both are converted into a streams and finally you can do to array and in the array you have to convert it because they will give the input streams okay int stream they will give array dot stream is give int stream so we have to convert into the int array so if you write like that okay it will not resolve your problems you can't convert into the integer array okay so you have to convert this data after streaming after concatenate into one object format because java features will not supporting directly primitive value this is the primitive array right integer integer array int array right so int primitive data they are not supporting so you have to convert it because uh, in that uh, situation also he like uh, lagging or he not able to answer like how we can do it how we can do it so i will recommend you guys whenever you are doing coding let's go with the integers okay don't go with the like uh, int if you are doing a java features okay i n t e g e r if you write integers it will support it so let's write integer integers and here also if you write integers okay then only it will support concatenate methods okay then only you can get the proper output otherwise you can't get it okay 
so you can also avoid those things if it is happening with you also merge array <coughs> so finally it's converted into another integer array which is merge array okay so always take integer don't take int value if you take int value sometimes you face this issue or you can't able to like uh, run the code or you can't say like oh, it's working fine or something okay so maybe they will reject you and then after finally if you got the integer array what you have to do you have to take the help of the array class again and uh, two strings and here you can print it merge array okay so once you print it you can see here both array is merged okay <clears throat> let me show you here so if you see both the arrays merge in one array and we are able to print it if uh, you are not able to if you are if you think like okay i don't want to do with the integer i let's go with the array list that is also better option okay so what you have to do is you have to write list of integer that is also array only but you have to think about it okay people are not thinking in the interview sometimes so you have to think about it and you have to assign in the proper way list dot of okay and assign all those data here into one list okay and let's uh, say this is the array one in the same way you can copy paste up to that and you can say this is the array two <coughs> correct and uh, this should be list dot of so that we can assign those data right so always take list don't take primitive value if you take primitive it will not work properly and maybe you got confusions okay so what you have to do is uh, you have written the stream so let's remove it let's go with the list itself A stream array one so if you see here now i don't required all those things i will just remove it and here inside this concatenate i will write uh, list dot stream we have a array dot arr one dot stream comma arr two dot stream so we have converted into streams and then after finally what we can do we can do the collect or collector dot collectors collectors dot to list you can do and you can collect those data and finally you can print it also <coughs> so this is the collect we have done merge array and finally you can print it without using array also okay so what I am recommending is like whenever you are doing the coding in Java add features always suppose to go with the list or list integers don't suppose to go with the primitive value if you go with the primitive value it will not work at the end or maybe you get confused and totally it's a blank okay now let me run this code you can see the output is 1 2 3 4 5 9 okay now it's working properly so always go with list otherwise capital integers that will help you to stream the data in the java features is directly supporting to object data only it's not supporting the primitive data type okay okay i hope you understood okay thank you so much guys for this video if you understood this video please like and comment if you have any other options to do it I will definitely check it out. Okay. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay. Let me stop.